Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We are going to do an update on Avarice or Avarice, however you pronounce it. Uh, this is my first update since auction day number one in the lobby. Um, and we're on day three now. So I didn't get a chance to make in an, an update on this yesterday. But here it is. Um, I'll show you my strategy, what I've been doing in, as far as staking. Um, I do intend to go in today as well. So I'm going to make another entry right now on this video and uh, put something in there but i do anticipate that this amount is going to go up by the time that this uh timer ends six hours and seven minutes you can see from yesterday i put three sorry not yesterday the day before the very first day i put 3.3 .3 bnb approximately one thousand dollars and the very next day i put 4.1 bnb and i actually got more tokens uh, which i'll show you in a minute i got more tokens on day two than I did on day one because day one was there was a lot of hype. Uh, day two, people are sitting on the sidelines watching. But we saw this contract boost or the auction boost uh, up to over a thousand. Okay, over a thousand, one thousand thirty-two. Um, in yesterday's deposits, the day before was one thousand six hundred. I thought that it was going to end at about eight hundred, and then lo and behold, before the time it ended, you saw in the final hours that you know people started jumping in. And I was hoping it would stay under a thousand, so I could get, uh, you know, a better um, allocation. However, one thousand and thirty-two is close to the target that I expected. Okay, guys, and I'm expecting that it will probably, you know, do a little bit less today. But after tomorrow, when people start seeing the dividend rewards, um, you're going to see a lot more BNB coming in in this over time. Okay, guys. So my strategy um, before, in fact, let's just enter into the auction before we uh, move on to my current stakes. Um, I've got about three BNB in the wallet that I'm gonna go in with right now. And I may increase that um, as we, uh, you know, uh, once we get to the final hours. Okay, so let's just uh, double check, 3.02. Okay, so we're going with three BNB and we will enter the auction with that on this occasion. And no doubt people are just waiting on the sidelines for this timer to start going down. There's, you know, we're all on different time zones. There's people waking up late. They will probably jump in and ape in and all that sort of thing. Okay, guys. So right now it says that I should receive two, uh, sorry, 23,660 tokens. Uh, the very first day I received only 5,969. The next day I received 11,764. And, and I only put one BNB, in fact, not even a whole BNB, about 0.8 BNB more than what I put in on the very first day. So if this remains low and I get anywhere, you know, over 11,764, I'm getting a better batch than what I did yesterday, which gives me an overall better position in terms of staking when it comes to collecting dividends. So if you don't know how this project works, it's paying out dividends in BNB. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube saying that they do 30 day stakes. Um, my initial plan was to do 30 day stakes, which I have got one or two 30 day stakes. Um, it might, well, it says 33 because you know the, 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 the first three days, and it doesn't start until after the first three days, okay? And um, yeah, so basically, I'm uh, I I I've got scattered stakes. So my stakes are all over the place right now. I'll tell you a reason why I'm doing that, because uh, the BNB dividends that you get, you can't actually claim them until your stake matures, right? So I want to be able to use some of these dividends to expose myself more to the project, okay? So that I can you know compound that and get more uh, you know more interest, right? Uh, more dividend, more BNB dividends. So if you go back to my previous video, I showed you a sneak peek of the white paper. I do recommend you go and read that so you can see how the dividends are rewarded. Okay, but I'm thinking that, you know, a lot of time, you know, uh, you're going to see most of the volume in the beginning. Then the volume kind of falls off. And then later on, when the next round of marketing comes in, we're going to see a lot more volume. So a lot more BNB coming into the contract later. So why I want to take advantage of that right now. So I'm doing stakes for 
you will see that I've got some 300 day stakes, okay? Now these 300 day stakes are just small amounts, all right? These are just amounts that I got in referrals that I decided to just roll over into 300 day stakes, a couple of them into 180 day stakes, right? So those are the small amounts, but what you'll see is all of my 3,000 and above stakes, right? Because I've been doing like 3,000 and above at a time. Um, those are um, at shorter time frames, okay? So I have a 17 day stake, which is ultimately a, four, a 14 day stake. It's a two week stake, okay? 3,300. I've got a 30 day stake that I did right here for 3,675. And when those stakes end, I'll be able to claim the BNB, which I think is gonna be a higher volume of BNB in this early stage because of all of this hype. Right, if we go back to the lobby, um, 3,052 BNB, okay, 94% okay, of which the rewards are going to be rolled out to the community, uh, plus uh, they're doing buybacks, and people are asking what are the buybacks, so the buybacks are basically, they're just going to be putting more BNB into the pool, uh, buying uh, uh, the supply and just removing it from circulation, although this is not a token that you can sell the AVC, okay, the AVC token is like a share token, which, uh, which, um, which gives you, which, which, uh, what is it, which uh, solidifies your your share of the BNB dividends, right, if that makes sense. So, uh, you can see I've got random states, right, so I've got 25 days, 39 days, 44 days, 24 days, 93 days, 33 days, 17 days. So, basically, the strategy that I'm going with is I'm just choosing random selected days, okay, within a, a three to six month period, right, well, uh, right now it's within a three month period with these, you know, 3,000 and over. Obviously, when I've got the smaller states, I'm doing them uh, within a six to 12 month period. Um, so, you know, every couple of days, every week or so, I'll be able to cash in some dividends and uh, potentially use that BNB to roll back over into the platform along with my own BNB when I'm going in every day, maybe every other day. And we'll see. Okay, but right now I'm going in every single day. Let's just go back to the lobby. As you can see, I'm going in every single day, at least for the first three days as well, because that's uh, that is just securing my position before the dividends start rolling out. So you can see this section right here, BNB divs. Um, by tomorrow, uh, or by the by the time this timer ends today, I believe we're going to start seeing our dividends dropped into this section here. Okay, and then you could just sit back and watch your dividends accumulate. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to do an update. Um, if you use my link in the description, my referral link, you will also get 1% extra of tokens. I would also get a 5% bonus of whatever you deposit as well. Um, but, you know, there's there's no incentive to not use a referral link. So my link is in the description. Get yourself some extra bonus tokens by doing that. And, yeah, that is uh, my update on Avarice. This is, it could be a very well-paying dividend platform. Like I said, when people start seeing the dividends, we're probably going to see a lot more BNB coming into the contract. When the next round of marketing happens, we're going to see a lot more BNB coming into the contract, potentially. Okay. And the main reason is, is because when people start showing what they're earning, people naturally want a piece of that. Okay. A lot of people will be sitting on the sidelines, skeptical. Me, myself, I'm not even going as hard because I, you know, a lot of people that are in this, they had exposure to T2X. And they know how this works because of T2X. I personally wasn't in T2X. So, you know, I've just been taking a conservative approach, having some exposure because I don't want to miss out. I want to be a part of what everyone, you know, if everyone's making money, I want to, I don't want to be the one that's sitting on the sidelines not making any money. I've still gone in, you know, bigger than some people, um, you know, as, but I'm going in blind, right? Because at the end of the day, I don't know what the dividends are. I don't know what the percentages are, anything like that. And, and until I see this tomorrow, or by the time this time it ends, I won't know. Uh, but by the time it ends, I may be pleasantly surprised with the dividends that I'm seeing rolling in. And I'll be able to secure some of that and uh, take some risk off the table uh, when when these dividends are collected on these stakes that end um, early, uh, some sooner than others. And I'll be able to make that decision whether I roll half of it back into the platform, all of it back into the platform, and basically just cash on in, in on this platform overall. So that is my strategy for this. It's not the most, um, it's not the most thought out strategy to be honest, but it is what it is. I want to leave all the links in the description. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about this. 
Tick the little bell for notifications, okay? That way you can get videos like this as soon as they come out. And I will see you guys in the very next video.